We're now ready for setup row one. Uh, you have your 22 stitches, you've inserted your waist yarn, and uh, you have your marker that marks the right side. This is your color A, and now you're going to introduce your color B. One of the things I like to do is I like to read the, read the row before um, before I start knitting so I know where and how I'm going to end. So our row says knit front and back, slip one, yarn over, knit one, slip one, yarn over, repeat to the last two stitches. So here we are, we're gonna be introducing color B, knit front and back, and then slip one yarn over. So you bring the yarn forward, you slip the stitch, and he goes up and over that stitch. And then we knit one, yarn forward, up, and you put your needle behind both, slip over, and he becomes a buddy on that stitch. Okay, so let's go ahead and do. I'm demonstrating Continental, which actually is easier for brioching. The uh, throwing works as well. And you just have to have to think a little more about bringing that yarn forward. Okay, and I've got my my um, waist yarn in. So I there's my buddy. I'm going to knit, slip, knit, slip to the last two stitches, and now I'm going to make one left. So you come down, you pick up the bar between the stitches. Put it on your needle with the short leg behind and knit through the back loop. And then you knit two stitches together. And as we look across, we can see that we've got stitches that have a buddy, a plain stitch, a buddy, a plain stitch, a buddy. And that's why it's so important that we have two different colors.